Hi, my name is Ray. Welcome to the radio workshop and part two of uh, aligning superhit vintage valve radios. Okay, in part one, we basically went through how superhit works, and we got to the IF stage, which we, uh, in our example, was 470 kilohertz. We talked about the bandwidth being too wide or too narrow. So now let's start adjusting the IF transformers. Um, first of all, are you sure they need adjusting? What makes you think the IF alignment is out? Uh, if it's that you're tuning around and you're finding that the perhaps you've only got a couple of stations on medium wave and they're weak, well it could be a number of things. It could be a fault in the front end, it, it could be anything. Um, Okay, you want to align the IF transformers, that's what this is all about. So for whatever reason you've decided, uh, that's what we will do. First of all, use the correct tool. Don't go using a metal screwdriver on delicate dust iron cores, they will break. Use the correct tool. If you haven't got the correct tool, get an old knitting needle, file it into a screwdriver shape or a hexagonal shape or whatever. Um, if they are trimmers uh, in the IF transformers, uh, as they sometimes are, rather than a, a slug, a dust iron slug, you can use a screwdriver. If they are brass, sometimes you get a brass threaded stud with a screwdriver slot in the top, you can use those. Loosen the lock nuts first, if there are any. OK, start on the second IF. That uh, is the one that you come in, you've got your aerial your oscillator mixer or frequency changer valve, your first IF can, your IF amplifier valve, then the second IF can. Start on the second IF. That's the one we're going to adjust first. Right, with the radio switched on, I won't go into safety, just don't electrocute yourself. With the radio switched on, tune into a weak medium wave station. When I say weak, you don't want it fading in and out, the volume going up and down. Weak but stable. Uh, weak but solid. Adjust. You'll have two adjustments on this second IF transformer, normally two. Turn the adjustment maybe a quarter or a half one way, say anti clockwise. See what difference it makes to the volume of the radio. Turn it back to where you started. Always remember where you started. Then turn it clockwise, quarter of a turn, half a turn. What difference does that make? If it's loudest at its original spot, which hopefully it will be, just go either side of that spot, end up on the maximum volume. Then the other adjustment on the same transformer, clockwise, say half a turn or anti-clockwise, whichever way, has that made it louder? Has it made it quieter? Go the other way. Say the other way makes it louder. Half a turn, the other way makes it louder. Okay. Go half a turn further. Does that make it quieter? Basically what we're doing is finding the loudest point. What we don't want to do is screw them. Turn, 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 and all the way out, turn, turn, turn. If you do that to them all, you'll lose the radio station you're listening to altogether, and you'll never get it back, not without test equipment anyway. So basically make a, make a note of where you started. Only half a turn each way. If it doesn't make any difference, go another half turn. But try and remember where you started. If you mess the whole thing up, you can at least go back to where you were. That's that one done. Go to the first IF transformer and do exactly the same. A little to half turn that way, half turn this way. Just peak it for maximum volume. Now, you're doing this without test equipment. You're doing it by ear. It's easier if you can watch this on an oscilloscope or watch a meter needle going up. Um, that, that's, we'll, I'll do another video about using test equipment at some stage. So basically you're adjusting all four for maximum volume. Um, and that's it. What I will just say is we, in part one we were talking about bandwidth. Now that by peaking each of the four adjustments, actually peaking for maximum, you are narrowing the bandwidth. Now it won't narrow so much, as I said in part one, that it sound, the, the audio sounds like an old-fashioned telephone with a carbon microphone. 
uh, the audio response basically all lost. That won't happen because these transformers, the IF transformers, don't have a high enough Q to do that anyway, normally that is. Uh, the manufacturer's service manual, the data, this is from the manufacturers themselves, this is how they say to do it, tune each of the four for maximum output. Um, don't do this on a, a decent communications receiver, only do it on vintage radios such as the Bush DAC-10 here and, and other similar radios. Communications receivers, the decent ones at least, they're different. You you might have staggered IFs, you've got filters, all sorts. Don't go twiddling everything for maximum smoke. Uh, not a good idea. Um, if you do find that the bandwidth is extremely narrow, this is unlikely, very unlikely. But if you find it's very narrow and you've got very limited audio response, there's one way round that without test equipment again. On the first IF we go anti-clockwise for, for example both adjustments say quarter of a turn anti-clockwise both of them. On the second IF both adjustments quarter of a turn clockwise. Okay this is after you've peaked everything up. So you peak them all up for maximum noise, maximum volume, then you turn these two anti-clockwise uh, quarter of a turn and these two clockwise quarter of a turn. Now what you've done is you've gone away from the peak you, your response like that, you've gone away from the peak hopefully what you've done is you've taken the first uh, IF transformer a couple of KC's away from your 470 KC's and you've taken your second one a couple of KC's above. So you've got one couple of KC's below, one above what that does is instead of the, res the response curve being a, quite a peak like that it, it comes up and it'll flatten it off and then go down so you've got a more you've got a flat on top of your peak if you could see it on the oscilloscope um, now as I've said this is all by ear so it's not going to be perfect but it'll certainly be good enough um, and as I said, the manufacturers do recommend you just tune everything for maximum output. So there we are. That's basically it. Um, I don't know whether there's anything else I can tell you. Uh, I will just say again, don't electrocute yourself. Uh, remember, if there's a live chassis, use an isolating transformer. And uh, good luck with that. I'll do another video at some stage using test equipment, but uh, for now, uh, happy aligning. Thanks for watching.